Hey there. We're going to make some chocolate chip cookies with this store-bought dough. Simple, quick, delicious. And there are a couple advantages to using the store-bought rather than mixing it up. Besides the obvious one, which is you got to have all the ingredients, and there are a lot of ingredients in a, a chocolate chip cookie dough recipe. Chocolate chip cookies are awesome. They have that synergy that I was telling you about that uh, uh, BLT has. Just, just delicious. The flavor adds up to more than the uh, than you would expect. I've got, I've got, some, got the cutting board set up. I had already done some cutting because I already made a batch. And I recorded it and made an awesome video, but something happened with the camera battery. So Anyway, we're going to aim for the same spot so we can reuse this foil. The reason we're using foil is so that it will um, keep this clean from us having to clean it. We'll just throw away the foil. Right. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I will want to see this too, so I'm going to put on my glasses. All right. We're looking for slices. Uh, bulk sausage comes this way too. So if you just give it a slice, maybe a half inch thick, slice right through that wrapper. If you do it right, you usually get a whole a whole cookie, but this thing is breaking up. Doesn't matter, we'll just put it back together. You can mix in some walnuts um, into the dough. Or you can do what I do, which is try to keep it fairly round. But it, as, as these things cook, they're going to spread out. One of the advantages to using the, the store-bought pre-made chocolate chip cookie dough is that the flour content is right so that when these things melt and expand in the hot oven they don't uh, turn into a thin wafer with lumpy chocolate chips they they expand at the proper rate so that you get a cookie that's um, nice and it's got a thickness to it these might be a little uh, less thick than people might like but I like them like that. These are nice and soft and chewy. So that's what these are going to become. I'll show you that too. Doesn't take long. I forget what the instructions say. 8 to 10 minutes at about 325. 350. I've got the oven at 350. So that works out nicely. You don't want to crowd these because... Oh, look at how fat that is. Oh, no wonder. I had already cut it because they're going to expand. So you can take a finished one, assuming that these are as thick as this was when it went into the oven, and they're going to go... It'll be fun. I kind of wish I had a heat-proof camera so I can get a time-lapse. But that's all right. In you go, my friends. Into the oven. I'll put them on the top shelf, not the bottom shelf, even though that oven has been preheated. The reason we want to do that is so that we don't um, burn the bottom of the cookies. My mother-in-law, bless her heart, would get those brown and serve rolls every Christmas and Thanksgiving and have everybody over, and she would repeat the same mistake. She would put the brown and serve rolls on a tray like I just did, stick them in the oven, Turn the oven on. They would burn the bottom every time. Every time. I guess it was just too tricky. I don't know. Bless her heart. She was a sweetie. Anyway, so I'm going to put this away. How easy was that? It was darned easy, I'm telling you. This stuff can be stored in the freezer. So if you're shopping and you find, find these tubes of cookie dough on sale, they have it for gingerbread cookies, sugar cookies, uh, chocolate chip cookies. It's, it's amazing and it's good stuff. And why get out the mixer and get out the eggs and the butter and the sugar and the brown sugar and the vanilla and the baking powder and the salt. It's just a lot of work. A lot of work for no gain when you can just 
do what we just did and pop them in the oven and set the timer and forget about it and then you have delicious chocolate chip cookies. I'll follow up and I'll show you how these things bake right now. Excuse me, I'm about to have a food gasm. Time to follow up and check our chocolate chip cookies. A lot of times when you're baking something, you can tell, especially if you've done it a few times like bread. You can tell when it's done. These are not done. I'm betting you. Oh, and I'm wrong. They are. Well, they could use a couple more minutes. So they come out of the oven fluffy. And that's what these are. And as they contract, let's get some light on this. As they contract, <clears throat> they'll fall down. This one came out of the oven the same way. Um, they cool. And they also get harder. These are real soft. Yeah. And if you tried to take them off now with a spatula, you'd have kind of a gooey mess. They didn't expand as much as these, so these must have been thicker when they went in the oven. I bet you we've got the brown on the bottom. Very similar to this one here with these. Now I can smell them. Oh, and they smell really good. Okay. The triumph of the chocolate chip cookies. Very good. Now you know how to make them. And you cool these off and you stick them in a Ziploc bag and you bring them with your lunch. You're saving money, you're having fun, you're proud of yourself because you can feed yourself. We are accomplishing our goal.